Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Dagnam. I'm one of the breast surgeons here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'd like to tell you about a new type of mastectomy called nipple sparing mastectomy. For over a hundred years, mastectomy has been a standard treatment for breast cancer. The term mastectomy is actually just a medical term that means the surgical removal of a breast. In a standard mastectomy, the entire breast is removed along with the skin that is in the center of the breast, including the nipple and areola. In this very simple diagram that I have showing a breast, that would mean removing this skin in the central portion along with the nipple and the darker skin around it that we call the areola. In a nipple sparing mastectomy, all of this skin is left intact and remains later that allows for a dramatically better cosmetic result with a reconstruction. Of course, the majority of women with breast cancer don't need a mastectomy because lumpectomy with radiation is an excellent treatment choice for many women with breast cancer. But for some women who have more extensive cancer, or for some women who just prefer to have a mastectomy as their treatment, then nipple sparing mastectomy can be an excellent option to provide a better cosmetic result. This allows for a breast reconstruction result that looks the most like the original natural breast. Going back to our diagram, in a nipple sparing mastectomy, all of the skin is left intact on the breast, but the surgeon does need to remove the breast from underneath the skin. So they make an incision or an opening in the skin, and usually that is located here on the undersurface of the breast or sometimes on the side of the breast. And both of these areas allow the scars to conceal nicely in the long run. Now you might be wondering if there are any disadvantages to this type of mastectomy. First of all, some women, as well as some doctors, wonder if there is an increased risk of cancer recurring in the breast if we leave the skin of the nipple and areola. The good news is that there really has not been any research to show that, and in fact, research has shown that there is not any increased risk of cancer recurring after a nipple sparing mastectomy. The last issue is that nipple sparing mastectomy is not for everyone. It really is only used in combination with a simultaneous breast reconstruction. And for some women who have larger tumors, whose tumors involve the skin of the breast, or tumors that are very close to the nipple would not be considered candidates for this type of surgery. Also, some women who have very large breasts or cosmetic abnormalities of the breast may not be able to have this type of mastectomy. Your breast surgeon can assess your situation and advise you. If you want to know more about nipple sparing mastectomy, just ask your breast surgeon.